guys, I'm Alexandra. Welcome to my series, Make My Space Work, the show where we gift hardworking entrepreneurs with a complete office makeover. These are people who don't have time to think about their office space, so that's where I come in. I make it beautiful, organized, functional, and stylish. Today I'm helping Bianca who works full time but also has a side hustle doing these amazing crochet pieces. Look at the one she made me. It's so beautiful. Her company is inspired by her Nona which is why it's called Party at Nona's. Cutest name ever. Bianca lives in a tiny downtown condo and has absolutely zero space to run her side hustle. Before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have tons more makeovers and you seriously do not want to miss them. Hi, my name is Bianca. I'm the owner of Party and Nonas. I love to stitch, uh, embroidery, cross stitch, all that kind of stuff. So all my pieces are inspired by the things that Nonas say and do. I've been doing my business for about a year now, but I also work full time. And what I'm struggling with is just having a designated space in my home that's easily accessible, that has storage. Sometimes I work from the couch, sometimes I work from my bedroom. I have a really large industrial sewing machine and that has its own issues. I can't close my bedroom door fully. I also don't have any general storage. It just makes it really hard to kind of get in the creative zone and create new things. What I'd love to see is of course, just a designated working space anywhere in my home. I love pink and like fun girly things, plants, cats. So please Alexandra, come make my space work. When I scouted Bianca's space originally, I really had to think outside the box. I was like, okay, do we change her living room around? Does she have a workspace in her living room kitchen area? I was really happy to hear that Bianca was open to working in her bedroom. She has the perfect little nook in here. I need to make it stylish, comfortable, and also find a way to kind of separate her sleeping area from her work area. So my plan is to turn this little nook into an organized and stylish craft area that inspires Bianca to sit down at the end of the day and work on her business. I have five hours to pull this whole entire makeover off, so it's time to get started. So it's day one, bright and early. It's pouring rain. Chico and I are off to the paint store to find the perfect pink color to do a beautiful alternative accent wall in this little nook. I'm thinking clouds, I'm thinking cotton candy, and lots of pink. Chico's already befriended the store dog. <laughs> There's this fusion mineral paint deck and it has recipes. We can actually mix some of the colors to make our own pink. Oh my gosh, so fun. We're gonna be making our own paint today. She goes, I was like, great, yeah, sure. The, dar Crisp light the darker pink. you go, yeah. Um, the more tones you can get out of it. Okay. You can like water it down and get like lighter shades of it. Okay, so we should go dark. Yeah. Okay, so we need cranberry and limestone. Right. Fun. Okay, so we've got our paints. We have the tester that you can pour right into the bigger pint of paint. It's 10. We have. I don't know how many hours left to do this makeover. We haven't even started. I haven't even had a coffee, but I know Chico and I can do it. We pull it off every time. We're back from the paint store. We're at Bianca's. She sold the sewing table. What a huge difference. It feels open. I have a blank slate to work with. It's a really small space, one of the smallest we've tackled. So let's get these walls prepped and ready for some paint. So the first step um, is going to be mixing these two fusion mineral paints together. I want a pink that doesn't feel super young. So I'm mixing cranberry and limestone. And you wanna just put the whole tester pot into the limestone and then we're gonna shake it. Ooh, it totally worked. Look at that. Now I'm gonna pour it into my paint tray and we're gonna start painting. So you wanna take your paintbrush, make sure there's not too much paint on it. You just wanna do little like lines in an area and then you want to go in with your spray bottle and then you just wanna dab it, dab the paint. A combination of like smudging and dabbing. And it creates this like really fluffy looking texture. 
So if you want to make certain parts lighter, you just add more water. And I would suggest doing a combo of both. So you end up with this really beautiful, like, I keep saying clouds, but that's what it looks like. The last step to this process is adding depth to your wall mural. So you wanna take a small paintbrush like this and you wanna use the same dry brush technique and just highlight any curves in the paint. This paint effect is actually way cheaper than installing wallpaper and way less hassle. I'm gonna throw to a previous episode of Make My Space Work. If you guys have watched it, you remember that I did this beautiful wall mural that looked like blue clouds. What we're doing in Bianca's space looks similar to the wallpaper at Nat Al's, but takes way less time and costs way less money. The wall is done. It looks incredible. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Now it is time to hang the desk that I bought for Bianca on the wall. Now this is technically a Murphy desk, but it does the coolest thing. So when Bianca's done crafting for the night, she can just flip it up like this. This is so cool. It turns into a little cabinet on the wall. I'm gonna place a chair here so it can become a little reading nook. Everyone who lives in a small space needs one of these. Such a space saver. Bianca can just tuck everything away. She doesn't have to be staring at her side hustle when she's trying to fall asleep and think about all the work she has to do. You can also DIY this kind of desk. There's tons of tutorials out there on YouTube, on the internet. So I would definitely recommend checking those out if you are handy and want a DIY one. I would love to know in the comments down below if you guys have a Murphy desk or a Murphy bed and if it works for your space. So Bianca keeps everything she needs to run her business in this box. It was stuffed into her closet, um, very organized, I will say, but like some stuff in makeup bags, other things in like organized in tackle boxes, which is great. But the problem is, is that she doesn't know what she has because it's all tucked away in this box. There's not like a clear organization system happening. I personally think yarn and sequins and all of those things always look great out on display and then she knows exactly what she has. So I wanted to have fun with it and I thought what better way to organize all of her craft supplies and make them look beautiful than with a pegboard on the wall. And I have all these little containers that hook onto the pegboards um, and that's where I'm gonna store all of these little bits and pieces. I love using pegboards to organize craft supplies. If you guys want to see me DIY and install a floor to ceiling pegboard, check out the episode that I did with Yandy. I will link it up here. You guys are probably wondering why I'm hanging these so high. The reality is Bianca lives in a very tiny condo, space is limited. And so I always encourage people to use vertical space, which she has a lot of. And it's great because she's able to store all of this stuff and keep it out and not have it shoved under all of her clothes in her closet. So Bianca also has things like this, these really cute custom mailers. I'm actually gonna put these in the side of the desk. The desk has these like paper organizers, which I think is perfect to store these and finally get rid of this bin. This is like my favorite part of the process, color coordinating everything, organizing everything. It's gonna look like a dream. It's gonna look like a dream. I love how much color all of Bianca's craft items bring to this room. There are a couple things left that I still need to find places for. An iron, some yarn, a box full of sewing supplies. So I'm just taking this beautiful basket and putting all of those unsightly things that don't look good on display in this basket. And then just like that, everything is super organized. Now it is time for the finishing touches. I'm also adding in this custom portrait of Bianca's Nona so she can look over, see her Nona, and remember why she started this business. I bought Bianca a beautiful velvet chair. This is specifically not a desk chair, one, because she has carpet, but also because I wanna show you guys how I've designed this to turn into a reading nook. So I wanted a chair that could work for her crafting, but then also look beautiful when this is all closed up for the day and turned into a beautiful, cozy nook. We're done. We're done the makeover. Cutest little reading nook slash craft zone. I'm so excited to show Bianca. It's time to reveal the space to Bianca. I am going to reveal this space to her as a little lounge area. I'm really excited to see her reaction because I think she's gonna be like, but wait, 
where's the desk? And then when she's opened her eyes and seen the space, I'm going to transform it into her work zone. I'm really happy with how this space turned out. I think it's really clever how it's a reading area, but also a workspace. And when you live in a tiny little condo like this, you need to improvise and you need to have a space that does more than one thing. And I think that I nailed it. Bianca is the final judge. It's her space. Let's see what she thinks. I'm gonna lead you in. Okay. Just grab my hands. Oh my gosh, I have butterflies. I always get like <laughs> massive butterflies. Okay. Aww. Before I count down, actually, I want you to remember mm -hmm. what your space looked like before. Yes. Cramped. Brutal. No storage. Could not even Couldn't close, close the door. Couldn't close the door. One, two, three. <gasps> God, stop! What? This is beautiful! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look, you did it! I knew you were gonna be good. I knew you were gonna be something <laughs> okay. so good. But hold on, you're probably wondering where's my workspace? Where's my work top? Like, A where do bit, I? Yeah, but yeah, I'm right? also still happy. <laughs> okay, St okay, stay there. Okay. Stop <laughs> right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is genius. It turns into a little work God. desk. So cute, right? Oh my gosh, this is so, so cool. I'm so happy you like it. Is that it. a picture of my yes, Mona? It is. Oh my God. <laughs> So now you can see everything oh. you have. You have a work top, you can close the door. Oh and then at the end of the night, when you're just done with work, you don't want to look at it anymore, you just fold up the desk and it's a little reading desk. This is amazing, I can see Aww. all my stuff. This is exactly what I wanted without knowing what I really wanted. I'm so, so glad. Thank you so much. You're I love welcome. You. You're the best. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was easy that you liked pink and cats. So 100%, yeah. It's my, like my brand. Exactly. So like we're, we're very similar. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would do an accent wall like this one. Bianca, I'm so glad that you like your new little corner. Love it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.